Hey guys, Anton Log here, and today I have a review for you guys of the Cruiser Light Bug Droid case. So this is a very nice case for the Nexus 6, and there are pretty much three main reasons why it is good. So starting off with the first reason is the design. So at the top we can find a 3.5mm headphone jack, on the right side you will find power button and volume button cutouts, on the bottom you will find a micro USB port cutout, and finally on the left side there is nothing. Moving on to the back, you will find two cutouts, one for the camera and one for the dimple at the back of the Moto X, and finally a cutout for the microphone. So also on the back, there is a really nice design, at least I think so, and it is a design of some circuits with an Android in the middle, which in my opinion looks really cool. Um, the back is matte, which makes it a little bit slippery, but the sides are glossy to add grip to the device, which is very good, especially if you're using a slippery device, for example, the Nexus 6. It is very slippery, and this case adds a lot of grip to it. So one thing I like about this case is that all the cutouts are fairly big. So with the 3.5mm headphone jack and the micro USB cable, this means you can use bulky connectors, for example a dock with your Nexus 6 while having the case still on. You can also use the bulky 3.5mm headphone cable with this since the cutout is very wide and very big. The buttons are easy to press since they are just basically non-obstructed and they don't feel like you have to dig your fingers in like some other cases, so I found that really nice. The camera and dimple cutouts work as expected and nothing fancy about those. They're plain cutouts and they work very well. So the second reason I like this case is that it fits like a glove for the Nexus 6. So this is a TPU case which means it's not hard and plasticky or soft and rubbery and it strikes just the right balance and it does absorb lots of impact especially when you drop the phone to make sure that your screen has not cracked. Now I have been using this case for a long time and my screen has not cracked even when I've dropped the phone, so that is a good thing with this case. This case has also not shown any signs of wear and tear, which is very good. So the third and final reason why I like this case is because it strikes a perfect balance between portability, which is the thickness and how it feels in your hand when you put it on the Nexus 6, and also protection. So most cases on the market are either really thick and add a lot of protection to your device, or really thin and offer pretty much no protection to your device. Now this strikes a perfect balance, at least in my opinion, and it does both of those. So this case does offer protection, which is good, and also it is not too thick and bulky to hold in the hand. So the Nexus 6 is already a pretty big phone, and adding a case that's about one or two millimeters thicker won't make a very big difference and it doesn't feel too thick like some of the other cases out on the market or too thin that it doesn't add enough protection so in my opinion the third reason is that it strikes a perfect balance between those two one thing to know is that it does have a lay on the table design which adds for a lot of screen protection so when you put the phone face down on a table it won't scratch the screen because it rests on the edges of the case so that is also a pro for this case so that about wraps up my review of the Cruiser Light Bug Droid case. So in short, the three main reasons why this case is a good case is because 1. The design allows lots of compatibility and also a slim profile. 2. It fits like a glove in the Nexus 6 and also adds protection. And 3. It strikes a perfect balance between protection and form factor, not making the case too thick or too thin. So one of the cons, and it's really hard to think of a con that I can see, but one of the cons would be it was kind of hard to fit the corners in and take the phone out and put it in. But that's no big deal because once you put it in, I can guarantee that you probably won't want to take it back out just because it adds so much protection at pretty much no cost of thickness or making the phone that much bigger. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, tell me why in the comments below. And also, be sure to subscribe for more tech videos like this. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.